So hello and good evening, this is Rutpasol from Kurval.com and I am actually back from my mini vacation and ready to do some YouTubing. So in today's video we are actually going to do or work a little bit with M language, with M code in Power Query and I'm going to show you how to refer to a value, a column or a row in a table in Power Query. Okay, so if we have a table in Power Query we will uh, be able to find the specific row, get a column out of the table or just a specific value. This is very useful in many many cases but you already know that. So I'll show you how to do that. So here we are in Power BI and I'm using the Northwind data set as I always do and I just have a table. It's a simple table with category ID, category name and description. Any table will do for this example. What we want to do is to be able to reference to a specific value. We will start with value and I'll show you why. Um, let's say that we want to get this value out of the table. So we want to be able to reference it. So the only thing you need to do is right click and then drill down. And as you will see, you have now a step, a variable that contains that exact value from our table. And if we, you can see the code up here, but we can just very quickly look into the advanced editor and you will see here the same thing that it referred to the previous step as usual. And then it gives us one and then description. Let's take a look at that. So if we go back here, you might think that this is not one, this is two, but this is creating an index in the background and it's actually the index starts with zero. So this is zero and this is one. That's why it says one up there. So now that you actually have the code for how to reference a value, to reference a column and a row is super easy. Let's start first with referring to a column. So we're going to refer to the description column. We have it here already. So if you want to do that, the only thing you need to do is to delete the row reference. And as you can see, you'll get a list of you know, the description column. And of course, this is a list, but you can convert it into a table without any problems. What happens if instead of referring to a column, we would like to refer to a row? So we want to have row two. Remember, it's row one for Power Query. So what we will do is delete this one and refer to row one. And that will give us records that contains that are contained on that row. And you can, of course, convert that into a table also as usual, right? Convert into table. So as you can see, it's really, really useful and you don't even need to remember the code. The only thing you need to remember is that you can drill down and this will give you everything you need. If you want to refer to the row, you remove the column. If you want to remove the refer to the column, you remove the row and that's what you will get. If you want to refer to a specific cell value, well, you can do that without writing any specific code. So I hope this was useful. Definitely a short and sweet video, right? But useful. Sometimes the easiest videos are the most useful. So if you also think this was useful, give me a like so I know and uh, make sure you share it with somebody that also would like to know. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I publish three times a week and click the bell to receive notifications. I will see you again on Friday with the Dax Fridays video, okay? So take care and uh, have a nice evening. Bye!